Hello friends, my name is Radha Masood. Today we shall discuss about a topic the data gathering techniques used in project management. And this is a very very important topic friend and especially if you are a student of project management and planning to give exam of PMP. So this is a very very important topic and you will see this topic in the exam as well. So let's uh, start. First of all I will request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so, so that my new videos can reach to you. So let's uh, start data gathering techniques basically these are the techniques which we use to collect data information from a variety of sources and um, as per the PMBOK there are uh, following uh, data gathering techniques like benchmarking brainstorming check sheets checklist focus groups interviews market research questionnaires and uh, statistical sampling so these are the techniques basically friend whenever we are implementing projects we need to gather the data data in different forms like for example let me give an example for example why you need to collect the data in a project because for example you want to know that what are the risk can occur in a project what should be the estimation in terms of time and cost uh, what should be the communication techniques should be used uh, what type of stakeholder you may face in a project so there are so many reasons that you need to collect the data so these are the techniques which we use to gather uh, the data okay now one by one we shall discuss in detail that what are these techniques first of all the benchmarking benchmarking means friend that basically uh, you uh, you uh, make some standard like for example you are implementing a project okay now you want to make some benchmark benchmark means that some standard points which you must have to follow for example let me give an example for example if india wants to venture into high speed rail project they can benchmark their project against the high speed rail project in germany for example they can benchmark that for example uh, what the performance of a rail uh, if like ABC is the performance of a rail in Germany so they want to benchmark they want to achieve that mark that if they can achieve it this is the standard which sh they should have to follow so this is as called as the uh, concept of benchmarking benchmarking means that the, the standard you make some standard uh, role model for example and follow that role model some standard as per your need and uh, requirement okay the other uh, requirement uh, other form is brainstorming brainstorming means that four to five people sit in a meeting room they discuss with each other their, their ideas so that you can get the new ideas uh, in the brainstorming session everyone discuss their ideas openly their advantages their disadvantages they will discuss and so that they can reach to some conclusion the uh, main concept of brainstorming means that everyone is discussing the ideas openly so that they can reach some uh, conclusion uh, the next is the check sheet a check sheet is simply means that it provides a structured way to collect data about a potential quality problems check sheets may be used to uh, quantify defects by type or by location or by cost this is the simply you make some uh, you can say um, you can say that you can make a excel sheet in which you can mention the checkpoints uh, okay and then uh, you just check it that okay this is happened this is okay this is not okay so this is simply a concept of check uh, check sheet another option is checklist checklist are often used as reminders it can be a list of items actions to do not to do or points to be uh, remembered it helps to ensure consistency and compete uh, competence uh, completeness in carrying out a process okay then uh, the another point another uh, data gathering technique is focus group focus group is basically bring together pre-qualified stakeholders and subject matter experts or domain experts to get an idea of how the market will respond to certain features of the product here remember friend that now whenever we talk about brainstorming brainstorming is different and focus group is different brainstorming is where we are discussing the idea focus group means that we are uh, getting the feedback of of the stakeholder okay so this is a difference between focus group and the brainstorming interview interview means that uh, basically you just sit with some any a particular stakeholder like for example you sit with the uh, CEO of the company and discuss that actually what he wants uh, like for example what he wants in the new system what his expectations what uh, the risk and issues he is forcing so basically interview means that you are sitting with any particular person discussing in person with him 
and getting his feedback okay so that is the concept of interview here uh, in the data gathering technique then the other market research market research can be used to help determine the market conditions it helps to identify the products services and results available in the marketplace it includes examination of industry and specific seller capabilities as well question and surveys uh, question and surveys means that you just make some questions okay and then uh, discuss with uh, like for example some uh, people and get their feedback questionnaires and surveys are a cost effective way of obtaining data from stakeholders regarding their needs and expectations like for example you can make a questionnaire like 5 to 10 questions you mention on a uh, document and uh, just circulate it with the on the customer side like for example the business manager the project manager the functional manager the CEO of the company and get just want to get their feedback that what he, their expectations what they want from the system like this is an example statistical sampling statistical sampling is used when it is impractical or too expensive to uh, inspect each item during quality control so what you would do like for example if there are uh, for example if there are 20,000 items are there in a product for example which you want to track so what you can do you can take 1000 or uh, 1500 samples from the product and you just sampling statistical sampling basis you do the uh, quality check that is called as the concept of statistical uh, sampling so friend thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope uh, you like this video if you like please share it with, with your friends and colleagues and thanks for watching the video thank you